Hello, today we will be discussing the fabrication and application of organic field effect transistors. A transistor is a device that is used to control the movement of electrons in a circuit. It essentially functions as a switch or amplifier for the flow of current. The first successful demonstration of the device occurred on December 23, 1947 in Murray Hill, New Jersey at Bell Laboratories, the research arm of American Telephone and Telegraph, or at and The components for a transistor consist of three layers of semiconductor material, two of which are made of the same type of material, and three terminals, an emitter, a base, and a collector. Some common materials used in transistors are silicon, germanium, and gallium arsenide. Additionally, impurities could be used to create electrically positive or negative behaviors within the circuit. An organic field effect transistor, or OFET, is a type of transistor that uses organic semiconductor materials in its channel. The device was first proposed by J. E. Lillenfield in 1930, who theorized that a field effect transistor behaves as a capacitor with a conducting channel between a source and a drain electrode. This transistor has been created with various device geometries, but the most common device geometry that is implemented for an OFET is bottom gate with top drain and source electrodes. Ways to prepare OFET include vacuum evaporation of small molecules, solution casting of polymers, and mechanical transfer of peeled single crystalline organic layer onto its substrate. The normal thin film OFET has several layers. The bottom is indium thin oxide ITO coated glass. The reason we use ITO to coat the glass is because we want the substrate to have good conductivity and good light transmission properties. Then we coat P3HT as organic semiconductor. Above organic semiconductor is gate insulator made by PMMA. The top layer is PEDOT PSS gate due to its unique combination of conductivity, transparency, ductility, and ease of processing. Due to low thermal budget, simple manufacture process, no need for epitaxial templating and compatible with wide range of substrate compared to the silicon. OFET is widely used in flexible screen field mechanical arcutator field and biosensor field. The further directions of the OFET focus on increased flexibility of OFET, improve the fabrication process at room temperature, increase the transparent, make it printable, and develop larger area of application like wearable device. In this section, we're going over cleaning procedure. This cleaning procedure is critical and involved, and the key for sample preparation is to minimize contaminants. The steps to prepare the substrate for spin coating are as follows. 1. We need to sonicate in high 10% sodium hydroxide for 5 minutes. 2. We need to perform two damp rinses in hot water. 3. We need to sonicate in hot 2% helminate solution for 5 minutes and perform three dump prisons, two in hot water, one in cold DI water. Five, now we sonicate in room temperature IPA for five minutes. And lastly, we blow dry the sample using dry nitrogen. It is important to handle the substrate with tweezers at all times and hold it by the corners to avoid scratching or contaminating the main body of the substrate. The quality of cleanness of surface greatly affects the quality of the fabricated device. For the fabrication of an OFET, two spin coating methods need to be known. Static spin coating is when you apply the solution while the sample is being rotated. Dynamic spin coating is while you rotate the sample, apply the solution. The steps to create an OFET are as followed. 1. Statically spin coat. 100 microliters of HMDS at 2000 RPM for 30 seconds. 2. Dry the sample for 60 seconds at 0 RPM. 3. Dynamically spin coat 15 microliters of P3HT at 
1500 RPM for two and a half minutes. Four, dynamically spin coat 50 microliters of PMMA at 1500 RPM at, for 90 seconds. Five, clean the sample as indicated with the magenta box on the bottom picture with Q-tip covered in TCB. Six, dry the areas you have just cleaned with a dry cube tip. Seven, apply P dot PSS perpendicular across the gate strip as indicated on by the black box. Eight, dry in a vacuum. The next part is characterization using four point probe. Depending on your current level, you may need another properly trained with the equipment to perform the characterization. Whether you are performing the characterization or a trained operator, make sure to follow the particulars of the manual for your specific machine. To begin, place the sample in the instrument on the sample stage. You may need to place it on top of another sample of a flat material in order to see the nearly transparent electrodes on the OFET. Adjust the probe so that they jet test the source, drain, and gate. Take this time to correctly name the probes in the software. For this characterization, the drain and gate voltage will be incrementally changed with the source set to ground. Six runs will be performed. For each of these six runs, the gate voltage will be manually changed. Elaborating, the first run will be 10 volts on the gate, and a second run will be 0 volts on the gate. The gate voltage will be swept from plus 10 volts to negative 40 volts and increments of negative 10 volts. For each of these six runs, the drain voltage will be swept by the computer from plus 12 volts to negative 40 volts and increments of negative 1 volts. After running the characterization method previously described, we should develop a voltage diverse current charge for the drain to source. The current chart shown here is the drain voltage restraint to source current from the organic field effect transistor device previously fabricated. This is done at different gate voltages which are held constant. Theoretically, as we increase the magnitude of the gate voltage, the current should increase. Say for the minus 10 volts, this can be seen to be true. Another point of interest is the saturation point. This is the point at which increasing the drain voltage does not cause a significant change in current. This point is not shown here as the drain voltage did not reach the point of saturation and is still seen to be increased. However, if we were to continue increasing the magnitude of the drain voltage, saturation should be achieved. In this video, we introduce transistors with a focus on organic field effect transistors or OFETs. From here, a method of fabrication and characterization were described and the resultant data analyzed. Here are the references we used for our presentation. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.